small thermal imaging scope has the following parts. Germanium objective lens with a focusing knob for adjusting the focus of the rifle scope. Observation eyepiece with diopter adjustment ring for individual vision compensation. Rechargeable lithium ion IPS5 battery that can be replaced by extended IPS10 battery for longer operation. Controls of the rifle scope consist of five buttons. On off power button, navigation up button, menu button, navigation down button, record button. Micro USB port can be used either for power or for downloading recorded data to PC. In order to start trail thermal imaging rifle scope correctly, follow these simple steps. Insert the battery into device firmly and push the lever down. Push power button once and wait. In several seconds, the Pulsar logo will appear on the screen. Shortly after, the image will appear. With the help of diopter adjustment ring, make sure you can see the reticle and overlay icons under the screen sharply. In this way, the image is adjusted for individual vision. This procedure is done only once. Point the device at the target, and by turning the focusing knob to either one side or another, reach the state when the object is seen sharply. When a different object is observed, refocusing can be done if necessary. Trails menu and settings. Apart from its main function, power button has several other functions. Short press, when the rifle scope is already on, initiates calibration of the sensor. During calibration, the image freezes for a short time and a clicking sound is heard. Holding the button for less than three seconds turns the display off. Display off sign will appear on the screen. Holding the button for more than three seconds powers the unit off completely. Short press of navigation up button switches between hot black and hot white color palettes. Long press of up button activates and deactivates Wi-Fi in the unit. The Wi-Fi icon under the screen shows the status. Short press of navigation down button activates digital zoom. Zooming is performed in steps progressively up to the highest zoom factor, and then gets back to 1x zoom. Long press activates picture-in-picture -picture function. The second small image with magnification appears on the screen. Long press of record button allows switching between photo and video recording mode. The respective icon is shown in the top left corner of the screen. Short press, depending on selected mode, activates video recording or takes photo. When video recording is active, short press of record button pauses the recording. Long press of record button stops the video recording. Menu button can be used for accessing two menus. Hot menu for quick access to some functions and main menu. Short press of the menu button activates hot menu in the right part of the screen. To switch between the settings and hot menu, push the menu button repeatedly. The following settings will be available. Zoom, range finder, zeroing profile selection, brightness, contrast. Each individual setting can be adjusted with the help of up and down navigation buttons. Stadiometric rangefinder measures the range of the object with a known height. To do that, the object should be placed between two lines on the screen. When it is necessary, the lines can be moved closer or further away from one another to fit the object's height. Three objects are available for reference. Hare, 0.3 meter tall. Wild boar, 0.7 meter tall. Deer, 1.7 meter tall. To enter the main menu of the unit, it is necessary to press and hold the menu button. Navigation between the functions is performed with the help of up and down navigation buttons. The following settings are available in the main menu. Wi-Fi activation, observation modes, forest, rocks, identification, calibration modes, automatic, semi-automatic, manual, Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi network password setup, access level setup, owner or guest, Zeroing profile selection. There are three profiles, A, B, and C. Each of them can store up to five zeroing distances. Reticle setup submenu contains reticle type selection, reticle color selection, reticle brightness setting. Zeroing. General settings contain language, date, time, meters or yards. Default settings, memory card formatting, side incline indication activation, auto shutdown activation, remote control pairing, defective pixel repair function, device information, 
zeroing of trail. Mount the rifle with rifle scope firmly on a bench or rest. Before zeroing is performed in the main menu, select the zeroing profile, A, B, or C. Make a shot. When zeroing is done for the very first time, there are no saved zero distances in the memory of the rifle scope. In this case, it's necessary to add a new distance by pushing the plus sign and entering the name of the distance. After that, a menu with zeroing options will appear on the screen. One shot zeroing option, zeroing with digital zoom, freeze zeroing option, edit distance title. Select one of the options and move the small cross with the help of the navigation buttons along the X or Y axis to the point of impact. Then, press and hold the menu button to save the coordinates. The reticle will shift to the position of small cross. Once the distance was saved, it can be edited. The user can edit, zero in coordinates, primary distance setting, or delete distance completely. The next distance can be added similarly to the first one. When there are several distances in the memory, and it is necessary to switch between them quickly, the shooter can enter the hot menu and select the distance from there. Selected distance will be displayed under the screen. Stream Vision Mobile Application To start working with Stream Vision application, activate Wi-Fi in the unit. This can be performed in two ways. One, press and hold the navigation up button until the Wi-Fi icon under the screen turns active. Two, enter the main menu and activate the Wi-Fi in Wi-Fi activation settings. In the smartphone, enter Wi-Fi settings. Select the network with the name Trail. The last four numbers in the name of the network are the same as the serial number of the connected unit. By default, the password is 12345. If necessary, it can be changed in the settings of the unit. After starting Stream Vision application, the main screen will appear. The name of the connected device will be shown under the Stream Vision sign. There are five icons at the bottom, My Devices, Files, Viewfinder, Stream, and Settings. My Devices screen allows you to check information about the unit, check availability of the new firmware for the unit, and update it. My Devices screen also gives access to the unit settings. Files screen provides access to the files stored in the unit. The files can be downloaded to a smartphone and viewed with the help of an integrated player. The Viewfinder screen shows the image from the unit and allows the user to control some of the functions of the thermal imager like zoom, color palettes, or video recording remotely. Stream screen is necessary to start direct live streaming to YouTube. For this purpose, the user has to perform three easy steps. One, switch the smartphone into the streaming mode. Two, connect and verify the YouTube account. Three, notify friends by sending them a message with a link to live stream. Settings screen contains settings of the mobile application and auxiliary functions. Thank <laughs> you.